That's why I can speak with impunity about the Illuminati, because I know who you would have to be in order for what I'm saying to Bob. Please let me have access to my money. This is not right. And again, this is not. That's why I can speak with impunity about the Illuminati, because I know who you would have to be in order for what I'm saying to bother you. Please, let me have access to my money. This is not right, and again, this is this is this appearance of Wendy Williams from the month. Spotlight, and this has generated a lot of concern among fans, who are now left wondering if something more sinister is at play. Some are even speculating that she may have been kidnapped considering her un. Explained disappearance and the questionable actions of her team, who are now reportedly controlling her finances. Meanwhile, Cat Williams has long been raising awareness about the darker side of the industry. And some are now wondering if his words are a clue to what may have happened to Wendy. So what? Did Cat Williams say, is there any truth to his story? Was Wendy actually kidnapped? Wendy Williams has had her ups and downs over the years, but it's troubling to think that her struggles may have been up. Said against her in such a way, Wells Fargo's decision to freeze her assets without any evidence that she was incapacitated raises some serious red flags now, with the revelation that she has been diagnosed with dementia, it seems as though this was simply a convenient excuse to control her assets. Wendy has a history of speaking her mind and sharing information about powerful people she once exposed, Diddy, for being on the DL by releasing a picture of him in a compromising position, and suggesting that. Diddy D may have been involved in a gay act in response, Diddy reportedly banned her from all New York radio stations and used his influence to prevent her from getting work. This story has been cooperated by Jean Deal Diddy Diddy's former bodyguard who claims to have personally witnessed Diddy making. Phone calls to radio executives demanding that they silence Wendy. This is Wendy Williams, the hottest radio host in new New York City, when she put out those pictures of the dude pulling his pants down and I. He looked like some gay act that was going on he got on the phone. He said, let me tell you this when I get back to New York City if she's on the radio station. He's talking to a radio executive. He said, nobody that I deal with with nobody that I know is going to do anything with y'all this is just one. Example of the power Diddy held in the entertainment industry at the time. So is Wendy about about to be silenced due to her outspokenness. There is a possibility with this in mind. One has to wonder what exact. Lee did Cat Williams reveal about Wendy's situation. Let's get into it for context just days after the premiere of the documentary. Where's Wendy Williams on Lifetime shocking news broke about? Wendy's health it was revealed that she had been diagnosed with aphasia, a neurological disorder that affects a person's ability to communicate, and frontotemporal dementia, a degenera brain disease that causes progressive loss of functioning as phasia can impact speech reading, writing, and comprehension well. Frontotemporal dementia can affect memory behavior and emotional control. These diagnoses are tragic, as there is currently no cure for either condition. Eventually, a person with frontotemporal dementia may require 24-hour care for basic daily functions. Now we've all watched Wendy deal. With various health problems over the years, she has been honest about her health struggles in the past, including her battle with Graves' disease and her substance abuse issues. However, the timing of her diagnosis, oh. F. Dementia has raised questions among her fans. Some have noted that Wells Fargo's declaration of her as an incapacitated person and subsequent freezing of her assets seems to have occurred near her diagnosis, which shows that something is fishy in early 2022 shortly after the popular talk show, The Wendy Williams Show, was abruptly pulled from the air. Wendy's longtime bank Wells Fargo suddenly froze her accounts and blocked her from accessing her financial information in a petition filed at the New 
York Supreme Court Wells Fargo claimed that Wendy was an incapacitated person and in need of a financial guardian, the bank alleged that her situation was concerning and that she may be the victim of undue influence and financial exploitation. The petition stated we hope that the court will imminently appoint a temporary guardian or evaluator to review the situation and ensure that Williams's affairs are being properly handled. However, Wendy's lawyer, Celeste McAdam, hid back, accusing her former finance. Nail advisor Lori Schiller of lying to the bank about Wendy's mental state in her court filing, McAdam revealed that Wendy had previously fired Schiller for improper conduct about their professional relationship, so Lori Schiller had allegedly attempted to exact revenge on Wendy by lying to Wells. Fargo about mental state and convincing the bank to appoint a guardian Wendy's lawyer filed for a temporary restraining order against the bank alleging that it was interfering with Wendy's right to access. Her financial assets and statements, however, the court sided with Wells Fargo and in December 2022, it was revealed that attorney Sabrina Morrissey had been appointed as Wendy's financial guardian in a public statement Wendy Williams directly accused Lori Schiller and Wells Fargo of conspiring to put her under guardianship. She stated that the individuals on her team who were involved in this alleged plot were doing so against her will and without her consent in the recording of her statement, Wendy spoke clearly and coherently demonstrating that she was of sound mind and not in need of a guardian that Bernie Young used my American Express card to hire an attorney to, to file a petition against me. That was done with my American Express card, Bernie Young, you're no good. And this is not fair in the almost four. My mute mu nine you mute lit, restrangies, very clear, this is not fair. This is as Nio was, was re recorded in March 2022. And you can see that Wendy spoke clearly and coherently without any signs of asphasia or other symptoms of dementia, however representatives, for Wendy later. Claimed that she had been diagnosed with aphasia and that this diagnosis was the reason she was stepped down from her talk show. But Wendy's son, Kevin Jar, disputed this claim, alleging that some members of her team had been to life berately getting her drunk and then pressuring her to sign documents and contracts while she was under the influence talking to the son. Kevin said and whoever's been hired they are taking advantage of someone who needs to get back if they aren't providing it. They are definitely in an personality and giving her the green light to drink. He claimed he further alleged that Wendy's team pressured her to sign contracts either during or immediately after she left rehab, but once I heard that. Tushi was agreeing to stuff around her rehab. I thought, well, okay, they are taking advantage, Kevin said. According to the controversy, it has come to light that Sabrina Morrissey, Wendy's appointed financial guardian, filed a lawsuit against Against Lifetime shortly after the documentary was released. Morrissey attempted to prevent the documentary from airing, but her complaint was quickly dismissed by the court. This has led some fans to speculate that the lawsuit was a distraction from Morris's own questions. Able actions and motives, they believe that Morrissey may have filed the suit in an attempt to make herself look like she had Wendy's best interests at heart. Meanwhile, fans have noticed the similarities between Wendy Williams' situation and that of Britney Spears, who was also placed under a conservatorship and had her finances and personal life controlled by her father, Brittany, famously spoke out in a court hearing about being misdiagnosed and given high doses of lithium, which was then used as an RG. You meant that she was not capable of managing her own money? All of this was a false he-he. Immediately the next day, put me on lithium out of nowhere. He took me off my normal meds I'd been on for five years and lithium is a very, very strong um and completely different medication compared to what I was. Used to you can go mentally impaired if you take too much, if you stay on it longer than five months, 
What's even more concerning is that Britney claimed that her lawyer who was supposedly looking out for her bet est interest told her not to speak publicly about her experiences. My attorney says I can't. It's not good. I can't let the public know anything they did to me. And by not saying anything is saying it, it's okay. I, I don't know what I say said, hey, her, 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 Kang Yi West is also, also another. Other. Celebrity, who has talked about being induced by medication, Kanye West, shared that he too had been prescribed high doses of lithium before an interview when the host brought up the parallels between West's situation and Britney Spears. Kanye agreed that the circumstances were similar. He went on to state that those in power, were not simply trying to control him, but were actively trying to take him out much, like they had done to Michael Jackson, saying is, look, they tried to medicate me, the I was. Exhausted, they wrongly diagnosed me. And they, 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 when I asked them, how much lithium did you want to put me on? Exactly. It took them four days to answer because they were embarrassed about the amount right. T and I refused to take this right. You understand that if I had taken the medication, I would not be here. And it would have been W, is he was deeply troubled. We miss him, we love his music, though well, they would have Britney speared you, I mean, look, they would have Michael Jackson years before. Britney Spears and Kanye West addressed this issue. Dave Chappelle disclosed that he fled to Africa following his rejection of a $50 million offer from Comedy Central, because he was pressured into accepting Ant. Ip psychotic medication, we people talking to you, so what is happening in Hollywood? Nobody knows the worst thing to call somebody is crazy, is dismissive, I don't understand this person so that.